In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix washed out colors in Premiere Pro. So when you've gone to export your Premiere project, you may have noticed a difference in the way your exported video looks compared to the preview inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. By the way, my name is Luke Sievers with One9 Pro. I'm a brand designer and video content creator. And I was experiencing this same problem and it really bugged me because my video just looked washed out as if it didn't have enough saturation or contrast in the final export. And if I kind of expand my uh, Premiere project here, and show you this uh, preview, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Notice how my colors in my um, in the project look just very uh, crisp, very uh, nicely saturated, but this one just looks very washed out. Now, I'm not an expert on the reason why this occurs, but if you do want a detailed explanation, I'll provide a link in the comments below if you want to learn more about it. But I do have a simple solution that will fix this problem of desaturated video. What we're going to do first is actually uh, click the link in the description below and it'll take you to this Adobe support article. So Adobe has recognized that this is an issue and it has something to do with QuickTime Player. So if we scroll down a little bit, if we go down to number four here, it says download the gamma compensation LUT here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we're going to actually use this um, right before we export it to kind of get uh, the colors that we're really looking for. I'll click the download button and that downloaded this dot uh, cube file. So next, let me just open up the Premiere project and let's kind of go to export this like we normally would file export media. And if we look here again, it appears to look completely normal even in this preview window right here. But again, once we finally export it, unfortunately, it's going to look like this. And so what we need to do is under this effects tab, we're going to click the checkbox for Lumetri look slash LUT. And I'm going to click this drop down box and click select. And from here, we're going to find exactly where we saved that QT gamma correction compensation LUT. And you can see that right here in my downloads folder. So I'm going to click that. And I just want you to pay attention to what happens here once I click open. Look at the picture right here. You notice how it just got way darker. Uh, it added a lot more contrast to it. And it, to, to your eyes, it probably looks very strange right now. It probably looks like it's uh, too much. But believe me, this is actually what you want for our export. And the other thing to note here is when you select this, for some reason, um, when it says applied, it still says none. But again, you saw that it actually applied it. So we know that it's actually working. So we're going to, of course, click Q or export from here. But one other step that you can also do is within here, create your own export setting so that it will automatically apply this LUT every time. And so I can kind of uh, click the drop down menu here and I'll show you the one that I've created and notice it just adds it automatically. So we're gonna click Q or export and instead of it kind of appearing like this, it's going to actually appear like this. This is the one that I've exported with the LUT, and you'll see that it looks way better. It looks almost identical. It's about 99% identical to what we see in our Premiere Pro preview window. So there you have it. It's as simple as that. All you have to do is add that LUT, and uh, you're, you'll get your projects looking much better than they did before. So I really hope that you found this helpful. I know that I did. I was trying to figure, figure this out for a long time. Please, if you did, be sure and smash that like button and also hit the subscribe button to get more tips in the future for content creation, design, and marketing. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>